let's talk about creating a parameter where a range of values is accepted. Now the range of values could be the order quantity or number of orders or in our case a date. We want the user to be able to pick between a, two different dates to generate the results of a report. Now before we do that let's preview and we have our order date. It's in the report. Remember it doesn't need to be but it needs to be available. So we're going to start this by coming over to the parameter fields and what are we going to call this? We're going to call this the order interval. It's going to be based on date field. Now down below and this is where it is you have to set this. The range has to be said to be true. Okay now let's bring that interval in to our report and let's suppress it. We don't need to see it. Now let's run the report without doing a select. Let's run it and it asks us for a range. That's interesting. So there is a little calendar picker here. So we can pick from a range or we could type it in. And I am going to go. I do know that our database has um, data values in the 2003 range. So we'll go from uh, January 1st of 2003, well actually to January 1st, 2004. And notice we can include that actual day here. And let's say OK. Now notice we still get them all but we did get prompted. So now what we have to realize is we have to go back and tell Crystal based upon that range we do want to select just those entries. But let's be certain here we do have values that are greater than. Oh and notice we don't. They're all 2003 and it looks like, oh no, there is 2004. Now do we have, yes, we have some later. So you have to verify that you do have data that meets the criteria. Let's go back to our design and let's go to our select expert. And it's based upon the order date. So is any value or is equal to, and notice we have, and we could say is between, but it specifically asks us here for in between. Now we're looking for our parameter. Now as we saw before, when you pick is equal to, the parameter should come up and you will notice that it doesn't. This has changed just a little bit. So we're going to go down to our formula editor and here we're going to take out that. We're going to say that the order order date must equal and we're going to pick the interval. And we're going to check that syntax and we're going to save and close. So it actually is going to be based upon a formula. And we're going to say OK. Now we're going to refresh and prompt for new parameters. We're still going to pick the same interval and we're going to say OK. And notice now we have 183. And let's do it again. Let's refresh the interval, prompt for new ones. And this time we want from January 1st of 2003 to January 31st of 2003. And within that interval, we don't have any. And we refresh. And let's change this because I do believe that I may have this backwards. And this depends on the region. And that one is out of range. But let's go to the 1st of June. 
and between that range we don't have any. Every time that we are prompted we have to pick a range and let's go to 1, 1, 2005 and that time we got 1564 so it is working we have to verify the date range we would have to be familiar with the dates but that's the way it's done and that's the end of the demo